Uh, so I take NMN every morning. What is NMN? Good question. So a team of us at MIT discovered a set of genes that controls aging. When you put more of these genes into a yeast cell or a mouse, they'll live longer. So we think that these genes are responsible for the effects of dieting and exercise, which is great. Which, what that means is we can now mimic that with molecules. So NMN is one of those molecules. So NMN is the, the gas in the car. So that's Dr. David Sinclair. He's a Harvard professor with tenure. And there he is lying. He's been caught as a total fraud and liar. He started talking about his discoveries in the lab beginning in 1999 with a nutrient called resveratrol. I remember when that came out and I was pretty wary of it. I do sell a product that has resveratrol in it, but it was supposed to be like a really good antioxidant. It's not. It has some anti-cancer properties and that's why I carry it. But then he went on to NMN. And with his research, it was fraudulent. He lies. He got GlaxoSmithKline to buy his pharmaceutical company for $720 million, and they could not replicate his results in the lab, and neither could other companies, but they couldn't get their money back. And he's got uh, several steps within his procedure set up to make it plausibly deniable that he did anything fraudulent with intention. So is, he's been investigated multiple times, and there, he's got three walls, if you will, of innocence or amateurness in the lab or mistakes when the truth is it was probably just all fraud so i do have a product of nmn here i got this maybe a year ago just to play with it this one bottle and i decided not to stock it i don't think it's a big deal regarding healthcare. i don't carry it for my patients i don't have it in my online store nor do i have it behind the front desk one thing one questionable thing about david sinclair is that he wanted to take this supplement and he was petitioning or lobbying the FDA to turn this into a drug, to ban the supplement and turn it into a drug. Why would you do that? Because he's a pharmaceutical shill. And if you have a great product that could help a lot of people, you want to make it more accessible instead of less accessible. You want to make it less expensive instead of more expensive. I've been saying this on social media in several comment forums. And people would comment back to me something like, it sounds like you're just jealous of Sinclair. It's like, no, I'm not jealous. I think he's a shill. He's a pharmaceutical shill. And it has come to light. And four days ago, he stepped down from his Academy of Health and Longevity, which he was the president of. And now the former director of the Harvard Medical School is calling him a snake oil salesman. So it's pretty bad. He's uh, totally been shamed. and But he's an absolute liar. And there's no getting around it. Other people around him are saying he's not um, learning anything new. He's not able to tell the truth or see the light. So this is an example of somebody taking advantage of the ignorance of people around them in order to sell a product. So I'm gonna show you exactly what he's doing and others I've seen in my 30 year career about how they get people to sell their supplements that are basically centered around a single nutrient or a single pharmaceutical chemical. So this right here is the Biochemical Pathways poster from a company called Sigma Aldrich. I've talked about this for years now. I've studied this for 15 years at least. And there are a variety of chemicals in here that are part of these metabolic pathways. And they occur within the body. And this is how we live. This is how our bodies function. And so if you take one single nutrient from the, this poster and you amplify the quantity of it, there's other effects from it. There's like other chemicals that come before and after that one nutrient that you just amplified the quantity of. So when you amplify a quantity of one single thing out of all of these things, does it mean that everything works better? Does it mean that all of these chemical pathways work better and you're going to feel better, your energy is coming up, and you're going to live longer? No. There's so many other factors in here. Now, when I supply somebody nutritional supplements, then those supplements are typically consisting of a lot of different chemicals with biochemicals within it. And that could be just from herbs, for example. Herb, herbs are replete with various uh, medicinal chemicals, if you will. And so with the NMN, it has to do with what's in the yellow down here. It's related to a thing in this yellow. I'm, all I'm, that's what I'm going to say about that. So now you've taken that thing and you've amplified it. So what? So what do you do with all this stuff? If you want to improve your health, you have to clean it. So you want to clean all of these biochemical pathways by getting rid of parasites, metals, chemicals, Lyme disease, um, other organisms, radiation, 
et cetera, et cetera, mucus, biofilm, and you want to eat really good food and you want to turn your, your physiology around by getting into ketosis sometimes, that's how you affect all this stuff. Now, I've seen in my career various examples, especially with multi-level marketing, which was more popular in the past, things like noni juice or mangosteen. These are tropical fruits that are found in the Pacific Islands. And if you have some of this, then you'll live longer. It'll fix you know, all of your conditions and give you all the nutrients that you need. And no, not true. So it's more about cleaning this, uh, these pathways. Now back to David Sinclair, I saw that he was a fraudulent a while ago, more than a year ago. And it's weird the things that he said, basically he was saying that he was gonna um, make this supplement into a drug. And why would somebody who cares about the human population do something like that when it's already inexpensive, it's already made as a supplement. And you're gonna make it more expensive and less available. And then people have to go to a medical doctor, get a prescription and use their insurance and you make it harder for them to thrive. That's the main thing that I was questioning. I'll put a link below in this video, but he was actually very fraudulent in all the research that he did related to yeast and then mice, and then now he's selling a longevity supplement for pets, and it's all fake. But what's the difference between the single nutrient nutraceutical companies versus the pharmaceutical companies? Because they are also single, meaning there are, there's one chemical, but they're not nutritional, they're actually poisonous. So in the pharmaceutical world, they take something in this poster and they block it. They have a chemical that blocks a certain pathway. And so then you don't get this normal biochemical reaction and then a symptom goes away. That's what they're trying to do in pharmacy. So it's better to take a single nutrient, hoping that it'll help you, such as NMN, even though that's all fraudulent. It's better to do that than to take a drug, which is poisoning all this stuff, all these natural processes. You want all of these to be moving really well. Nothing in this pathway causes death. It's the bad things that enter into your body that messes all this up. That's what causes death. You want to clean all that garbage out. So just picture this all being poisoned with metals, chemicals, radiation, and Lyme disease, uh, parasites, yeast, viruses, bacteria, etc. Just everywhere from head to toe, picture all this being poisoned and then you don't get proper flow of biochemistry. You don't get proper flow of arterial blood, venous blood, lymphatic system tissue, intracellular fluid. All kinds of stuff gets stagnant. That's the problem, is stagnation. It's more about the biochemistry. It's more about cleaning all this stuff up so that it flows naturally. If you want to really get your health back, it's best not to listen to anybody related to a pharmaceutical company, whether their name is David Sinclair or not, or if they have tenure at Harvard, doesn't matter. If they're related to a pharmaceutical company, they're not trying to get all this fixed up. What they're trying to do is sell you a single chemical that will block these different pathways right here. And then your symptom goes away, but then you get another symptom. And that is the definition of allopathic medicine. You're trading one disease for another. If you want real help with your health, you can call my office. I'll put the phone number at the end of this video.